Oh, yeah, I'm showing that. Y'all see that? I see that. Make sure y'all see that, man. My boy. Shout out T Bay. Yes, sir. <laughs> Uh, McKinley had a season high 26 points, five rebounds, six assists, and when a guard gets a blocked shot, we always mention that. So, who wants to open up the questions for Ken? No. All right. Come on, fire away, guys. Jacob Toby. Um, Ken just uh, just describes senior night and and how it was and. And just what, you, what you're feeling? Oh uh, man, it was fun. Um, it's it's hard to you know put it in other words. You know, I love you know everybody you know on my team, you know coaching staff, everybody, and you know, I just want to come out and be ag- be aggressive tonight. Um, last couple of times we played UCLA, I felt I wasn't aggressive enough, and we lost uh, the last three times we played them. So um, you know, I, I put it in my mind that you know if I, I'm gonna take. 14, 15 shots, and if we lose by if we lose like that, then we lose by that. So, um, I just tried to stay aggressive. My teammates kept telling me keep going, and they were rocking with me. So, um, it was a big night. You're welcome. Hey, Ken. Uh, in that first half, they shot four free throws in a row, went up on you by eight, and and it looked like you kind of just said, "Okay, wait, I'll I'll bring this team back right here on my shoulders." Is that is that what was going through your mind? Uh, like I said before, man, I was just trying to stay aggressive. Um, you know, I, I felt confident in my matchup that I had with um, whoever was guarding me at the point. So, um, you know, I had I made a couple of shots early. I seen the ball go through the hoop, um, and the basket was getting a little bigger for me. So, I just tried to stay aggressive. Um, we got down by eight. Um, you know, I made a couple of plays, made a couple of shots, and um, ultimately, what, ultimately, what what got us this win was our defense, though. You know, especially in the second half, down the stretch. So, yeah, Ernie. Hey, McKinley, um, I, I, you, you talked about playing aggressive, but I know you're a guy that, uh, you know, as a point guard, always trying to get your, your teammates involved as well. But wondering, you know, down the stretch of the season, you know, we, we saw you kind of take over at Stanford. Uh, you know, you did it the other night. You, you carried the team offensively for a large part of tonight. In your experience now, have you, have you kind of gained a sense uh, when the team needs you to score uh, and maybe take over games, uh, you know, have you gotten a better sense of that over the years? Um, I'm, to be honest with you, Pat, it, it's not even me. Like my teammates, they they tell me to go. Like my teammates, like okay, Ken, it's, it's that time. And every time I, <clears throat> every time it's crunch time or or something like that, and I score a bucket, Deshaun, it's, it's really Deshaun. Deshaun always say, yes, yeah, that time two five. And, you know, they, they believe in me and my coaches believe in me. And I tell you, I've been telling you guys this for four years. You know, when you got a coaching staff like I do and teammates like I do that believe in you, it makes the game so much easier. McKinley, I, I want to focus on what, what you did after the game. I know you talked with your, you know, you shout out your family, you spent four and a half minutes talking about your love for this school, the program, uh, your coaches, your teammates, anyone who was here tonight. You added in about the fans. Is there anything else that you may have missed that you wanted to talk about? Because I, I know talking to you for years and years now, what all that means to you. Yeah. Um, you know, outside of everything I've said in there, you know, I want to give a big shout out to to Abby over in compliance. You know, she's helped me through a lot. You know, five FAFSA, you know, making sure I was signed up for that, you know, making sure I was staying eligible um, with people offering me stuff and social media and all this stuff. And, and Mindy, Mindy. Uh, Mindy over our academic advisor, um, you know, she's huge for us and, you know, you know, we give her headaches time and time again. And uh, for everybody who know me, you know, I've struggled with school, you know, for a while. And, you know, the fact that, you know, I'm here, I've never been ineligible. Um, you know, I'm, I'm going to graduate hopefully in May, um, if not then August, but I'm going to graduate. So, um, and, and it's a big, sh- big shout out to Mindy for, you know, helping me and stand by my side and sticking with me for these last four years. You know, with all the headaches I've caused there. <clears throat> yeah, really. And McKinley, just wondering, um, w- with that speech at the end, um, did, did you kind of wing it, or have you been uh, practicing and and putting it together all week? I winged that. Um, as everybody was going down, I I was thinking in my head. I was trying to put together what I was going to say in order, who I was going to thank in order. But um, when I got up there, you know, I had a brain fart, of course. 
as always happens when I, you know, get in front of presentations and start speak, speaking in front of people. So um, I kind of just went off the top of the dome with that one. And back to Justin Guerrero. McKinley, uh, not even considering anything basketball related or on the basketball court, but is there anything just life lesson wise that, that Coach Boyle has kind of taught you or, or tried to, to to pass on to you that, that has been particularly uh, meaningful to you or that, that you'll remember long after your time at, at Colorado? Yeah, uh, first off, Justin, that's a very bad mask. That's an ugly mask. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, but yeah, Coach Boy has taught me a lot, man. Um, off the court, you know, he's like I said in my, in my my speech out there, like he actually cares about my life outside of basketball, and he knows my struggle and the hard times and everything I've been through. So, you know, his big thing for me, he he wants me to get my degree because you know one day this basketball is gonna stop bouncing, and um, he wants me to have opportunities and, and meet people and create relationships so I can be successful when the ball do stop bouncing. So, you know, Coach Boyle has taught me uh, plenty of life lessons, and I'm forever thankful and grateful for him. Okay. Looks like it from the crowd. I'll throw the last one out to the McKinley since I'm the numbers geek in the department. Last few games, you had nine. You had a game with nine rebounds. You had a game with 14 assists. Now you had 26 points. Is it fun showcasing all the things you can do well in different categories? Yeah, it is, man. I'm a, I'm a do-it-all point guard. I know I've been like that my whole life, and I just try to. You know, I'm small. I'm, I'm six feet, undersized point guard. I try, I just try to find ways to impact the game. Um, you know, my defense. That's that's where the area I'm continue continuously trying to improve at. You know, because at the next level, it's only going to get harder. So, um, you know, I'm just trying to showcase. You know, what, what I can do in, in in each area. You know, I could rebound the ball, share the ball, score the ball, and you know, do whatever. You know, teams need me to do so. Yeah, it's been it's been fun showcasing what I can do in each area of the game. Great. Well, we'll catch up with you next week with Arizona State. Thanks. Yep. Thank you.